analyze. Uh, today we will discuss the distributed control system. We know that in a traditional process control deck, we have a sensor, a transmitter, which gives a signal the process variable to the controller at which we have defined our set point and then accordingly the output is generated the manipulated variable which goes to the final control element. So this is a traditional single loop controller that is one control loop. But if we have several hundred control loops then uh, in that case we would need to install various uh, other controllers and there would be a huge cost. But uh, uh, thanks to the microprocessor based systems with the invent of digital controller we were able to uh, adjust several uh, sensors and uh, final control elements with just one digital controller. So there as we see we see various uh, control here we see three control groups this one, this and this uh, which are going to the digital controller and uh, it is being controlled to this digital controller and from this digital controller from data highway data communication we are able to see our process and control our process through these operator workstations. So uh, nowadays the modern DCS looks like this. This is a typical practical example of one DCS installed at a uh, facility where, where uh, we have uh, various sensors and uh, final control elements connected here at the termination assembly. From this termination assembly we get a multiplexer cable. This multiplexer cable goes to these face plates and from this face plates uh, here uh, at these face plates we have installed various IO modules that is analog digital uh, input and output modules and from there these various phase plates goes to this FCP uh, plate. At FCP plate we have two controllers FCP to 70. These are two redundant controllers that uh, both are working uh, redundant if and if there is fault in any one the other will be there to continue the process without any interruption. Then uh, from uh, from this phase plate there are optical cables which are going to the Ethernet switches. So th from this Ethernet switch, we, uh, we will connect the operator workstations here. So this is a modern DCS. How a modern DCS works? This is a typical example of a modern DCS system. Um, to make it more uh, illustrative, uh, we see that uh, this is the sensor the main from the sensor we, uh, we are here at the modeling types, the FPM type, FPM and from, from these modules it's uh, communicating, this DCS is communicating with the SCADA and RS485 with the CSX or uh, the CP instrumented system on uh, RS485 redundant plane uh, with the UCP, uh, unit control panel, it will be of gas turbine and with the DCP, the unit control panel uh, on RS-485. From this it is going to the fault tolerant FCP270 redundant controller. From this it goes to the Ethernet domain, the fault tolerant 100 and VS mesh network and the uh, various maintenance workstations, operator workstations, engineering workstations are connected to the maintenance workstations. And there is uh, an OPC server, uh, OPC uh, uh, there is an ERP Computer, which is connected to the engineering workstation to this OPC circuit. From this ERP, we can take the data to the uh, enterprise level, for example, on SAP, and we can access it uh, from uh, any remote location, all the data. So, this is how a modern DCS uh, nowadays uh, we have facilities. Thank you very much for listening.